you know, Wade, I'm glad you brought this issue up. I'm sorry it's uh, towards the end of the show, but uh, several thoughts. First of all, those of us who believe in public services really do have an obligation to make sure that they're efficient and that they're cost effective. And I don't want for a moment to have any of this discussion be interpreted as a, you know, throw more money at the problem sort of discussion. Right, That's right. Not, not it at all. But your analogy of the barn raising is an absolutely fantastic analogy because it's precisely the sort of thing that we need to continue to do. What is the modern equivalent of a barn raising? Well, it's making sure our roads are in good shape. It's making sure our higher education system works. It's making sure we're taking care of the least, uh, the, the, the least advantaged in our society. Uh, and that's not a new idea. And people who think that America was built, America was built in a large part on the backs of individual initiative. And that's, you know, that's absolutely an important and, and critical and wonderful part of our heritage. But it was also built on the back of us doing things collectively, whether the, it was the, the homes, the Commonwealth, right. whether it was the Homestead Act that allowed people to, 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 to set up farms and gave them farms. If they worked hard, they got the land. Uh, the GI Bill that allowed people who uh, came out of uh, the military after World War II to be the first in their generation to go to college. Uh, um, the, uh, um, you know, just a number of things like this, Social Security, that for the first, before Social Security, you were unless on you your were, own. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were on your own. I mean, what you had to look forward to if you weren't very wealthy was either working until you die or um, living in poverty in your old age. And think about how that has fundamentally, fundamentally changed our society to the better. So these sorts of arm raising sorts of things that we've done, uh, and need to continue to do is what it's all about. And the whole Grover Norquist movement has been an effort to try to talk people out of the need for an effective public sector to be involved in that. And I would submit that Tabor is their number one uh, um, strategy for that because what it does is say, whatever you want to do with government, we're just going to make it smaller and smaller every year and eventually it will be too small. It will be at the point where you can drown it in the bathtub. And who cares what's happening in the public schools? Who cares what's happening in the colleges? Who and, cares and, if the roads are falling? And those public sectors that should be government, you know, uh, let, let's take an example. FEMA should have been, the, one of the first things that the Bush administration did when FEMA came in, when they, when they came in office with FEMA, is instead of having, you know, um, bid on contracts or contracts where the different suppliers for FEMA, you know, have to go through a, a rigorous process, it instantly, Michael Brown's predecessor, uh, instantly started privatizing all the contracts. And, and that's why you had, a, when, when Hurricane Katrina was going on, uh, the company that got the contract for water delivery was a, a personal friend of the guy in, in charge of FEMA, and it did ha had no capacity to supply that much water. So there's, there's no way to deliver the water because the company that supplied the water was, was depleted the first day. They delivered all the water they, they bottled. Um, you know, there's, there's all kinds of, of, of issues. That's another privatization problem. You know, if someone's in, supposed to be disaster management like FEMA is, they should not be trying to make a buck off saving people's lives. I'm sorry. There's just, you've got to have integrity in, in that kind of subject. Um, I, like, I like the, you know, hearing about what Bell Policy Center is doing. And uh, go ahead and give us that website again, in case people want to go there. Right, right. it's uh, www.thebell.org, or you can call us at 303-32, oh, that's fine, I'm about to give my home number. 303-297-0456. Say that number one more time. 297-0456, area code 303. We're back. My guest today has been Wade Buchanan from the Bell Policy Center. And we've been talking about uh, a number of issues uh, and some of the things that we're going to hopefully get accomplished on uh, turning back some of the problematic parts of Tabor and re-upping uh, Ref C when it expires in, in five years. Is that right? Yeah, well, actually, two more budget years. Two more budget years. We've are, we're into the third year of the Ref C budgets. Just started this year, so and, uh, sooner than you know. So, uh, Mr. Buchanan, Wade, uh, what what are some What's, what would you like to close out with? Any, any type of statement? You know, well, you know, I, I, I appreciate that. I would, I would just go back to kind of the core mission of the Bell Policy Center, which is, 
you know, why do we care about these issues? Well, we care because we think that the public sector ought to be about making sure that people have opportunities. This is a country that's supposed to be about opportunities, supposed to be about the American dream. We have lots of kids who uh, come into the world who, uh, from a realistic point of view, don't have the opportunity to pursue the goals that we'd like to think they could pursue. What do we do about that as a society? And how do we think about uh, the public sector and our obligation to one another, not in terms of, you know, what do I personally get out of it or, or, or you know, kind of like you do when you walk into the 7-Eleven, to, to the can I get something, you know, that I can afford and that I want and that tastes good, but more what kind of investments do we make together to make sure this is a better place to live. It's a fundamentally different way of thinking about things. Uh, and uh, again, we would welcome anybody to find out more about the Bell Policy Center at uh, by uh, going to our website at thebell.org or, uh, or you know, calling us at that number I gave earlier, 297-0456, area code 303. And I sure appreciate the opportunity to be here. And, and we appreciate having you out there in the community working and doing the research that, and putting together the, these studies to tell us more about putting the terms what we're not doing right um, for our citizens and what we need to do, what course we need to well, this has been Ultimate Politics and UP News. You can check out this interview on www.ultimatepolitics.net. I'm your host, Wade Narts, and we'll see you next week. Thanks a lot, and have a good one.